David Ortiz waited for a kidney for nine years. After his story aired on Wink News in August, he got the call. I'm just, I'm just really happy right now. Like, I've been waiting for this for a long time. Fast forward to today, and he's making a great recovery. I'm a firm believer and that, you know, God, God looked out for me. He was definitely somebody watching over me. But he says he doesn't understand why donated kidneys get wasted when so many people like him need one. I think it's ridiculous. I mean, there's there's so many people out here on dialysis. I mean, you've seen the numbers. The journal JAMA Internal Medicine recently published a study. Researchers found between 2004 and 2014, people donated about 156,000 kidneys. Nearly 28,000 of those were thrown out. The authors say transplant program regulations in the U.S. aren't helping. If the kidney isn't in pristine condition, transplant centers may be less willing to take the risk. Other issues include abnormal biopsy in the kidney, older kidneys, and the cost of the transplant and longer recovery for patients as a result. One reason President Trump is working to make transplants easier in the U.S. with this radical idea. We are going to prioritize a truly transformative goal, the development of an artificial Kidney. Until that happens, Ortiz plans to advocate for patients. We're just really, really excited about this, this new journey that I'm on now. And David got that kidney from a young man who died and was an organ donor. Right now, he tells me that he has to take 28 pills a day to keep his kidneys and the rest of his body healthy while he heals from the surgery. He hopes to be back to work for full time in three to six months. And he thanks everybody for their support. Lois? That's amazing. All right. Thank you very much, Chan.